السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پلیز کڈ یو ایکسپلین واٹ از دا پروسیجر آف ڈائیبوس دس از دا کوشچن دیٹ واٹ از دا کریکٹ پروسیجر فار ڈائیبوس نو ڈائیبوس از طلاق دیٹ پریویلنٹ ان اور سوسائٹی ان اور کلچر از اف ڈفرنٹ ٹائپس دیر از ون پروسیجر دیٹ یو نو دا ہسبینڈ جسٹ سیز طلاق 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 اینڈ دا ڈائیبوس ٹیکس پلیس دس از کالڈ ایز طلاق کی بدا It is not proven from Quran and Sahih Hadith. The other type of divorce which is prevalent in the society, in the Muslim society, is that the husband gives divorce, waits for one menstrual cycle, again repeats the divorce, waits for one menstrual cycle, then again give a divorce. This is called a talaq hasan. That's a good talaq. But the right talaq is talaq hasan, the best type of talaq, as is described in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. And there are various verses in the Quran dealing with talaq. It's mentioned in Surah Talaq, chapter 65, verse number 2 to 7. It's given in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 228 to 242, the details of talaq. Normally, whenever any disagreement takes place between the husband and wife, they should initially try and sort it out themselves. You know, suppose, you know, the wife put extra salt in the food, and the husband does not like it, he shouldn't say, talak, talak, talak. If he doesn't like extra salt, you should tell the wife, don't put extra salt and the problem is solved. The best is to have a sitting, sort it out, that is the best. If the problem between them cannot be sorted out, then the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 35, that appoint an arbiter from the husband's side and appoint an arbiter from the wife's side. Let there be a family gathering, have an arbiter from the husband's side, and arbiter on the wife's side, sit together and try and explain, you know, always marriage is a delicate issue and there are ups and downs in married life. They should sort it out and try and find a solution. Yet, if all the things have been tried, the husband and wife have got together, they have had a family gathering, they have appointed an arbiter, and yet the matter is not solved, then as a last resort, then divorce can be pronounced. While pronouncing a divorce, It is important that the husband, when he pronounces the divorce, says talaq, there should be two witnesses. And once he says talaq, as the Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 228, that after the divorce is given, there should be an idda period of three menstrual cycle, or three months. So once the divorce is pronounced, the idda is a waiting period. I call it the prelims. It's interim period, where... For three months, the husband and wife, they live in the same condition, but they do not have relationship. It is like a prelims or a trial, that can they be without each other? You know, you realize after two weeks, oh, you know, I was a fool, simply I said divorce. It was such a small matter that, you know, she is not ironing my clothes properly, and I am a bigger problem. So maybe they can again do ruju. They can again conciliate with one another. So there is a waiting period of three months. And in these three months, If the husband and wife reconcile, if they do ruju, then that means they yet continue to be husband and wife. If after three menstrual periods have passed away, and yet if they insist that they want to part, they can part in an equitable terms. They should not do much linking with each other, should not try and blame each other, should not wash their dirty linen in public. Amicably, with respect, they should part. And the Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 229, that the husband should not take back the gifts which he is given. It's preferable that he gives it to her. And if they part, suppose after two years, the husband realizes that I made a mistake, then again he can marry the same lady. The Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 232, that do not prevent the woman from marrying their former husbands. That means people have misconceptions that once you get divorced, that's not possible to marry again. And they start saying, okay, we can do halala. You know halala? Halala means trying to get someone to marry the wife so that she becomes legitimate. This is totally not permitted in Islam. In Islamic principle, if you read the Quran, the same man and woman can get married even after first divorce has been given after the Iddah period is complete, but they should remarry with a new Nikah and a new Meher. 
Again, if they remarry and something wrong takes place, again the same procedure, have consultation with husband and wife, appoint arbiter, you know, then give divorce, have two witnesses, then part. Again, if they want to reconcile, maybe after two years, again they can reconcile. But new nika, new mahir. Again, if they have problem, again they can part. But at this moment, it is the last. Quran says in Surah Bakhara, chapter 2, verse number 229, that divorce is only permissible twice. The third time, it is irrevocable. Means the first two divorces you give can be revocable. But the third divorce is irrevocable. It cannot be undone. Unless the wife marries another man and consummates the marriage. So now people have come up with this concept of halala, that fine, if I've given divorce, talak, 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 talak in one shot, and then I repent, so he lets his wife sleep with another man, and then after one night, then they give divorce, and they marry and consummate the marriage, then after one night, they give the divorce, and again, he married. This is totally haram. It's totally haram. Islam prohibits it. You cannot do this. You cannot plan it. What it says that if the husband and wife marry, and again they divorce, again they marry, this marriage is not gudda guddi ka khel. It's not, you know, a doll marriage where you're marrying, you know, two dolls together and then break it and again want to reconcile, again want to break it. So if you give divorce thrice, it is final irrevocable. Like I remember young days, my mother used to say that bhaar jayenge to dal ate ka bhaam manu padega, no dal ate ka. I wonder what is dal ate. It is dal and atta. When you go out, you'll come to know the price of doll and flour. When I was a kid, I said, what dal ate, dal ate ka? Maybe it's the idiom, you know, dal ate ka, dal ate ka. Then I came to know what she meant was dal and atta. When you go in the market, you will come to know what is the price of doll and flower. So it's not a gudda guddi ka kale. So now, okay, now enough. Enough of marrying and reconciliation, marrying and reconciliation, finish. Now you marry somebody else. And then, if she marries another husband, that lady, and then she realizes I was scribbling. My first husband used to give me five hours a day. This new husband does not even give me two hours a day. The first one is better. So if she marries a new husband, and then they realize this marriage is not working well. And then if the divorce takes place in a normal procedure, same procedure, mutual consultation, appoint an arbiter, husband, wife, side, try and solve the problem. If it's not solved, then give a divorce, wait for three monthly cycles, three monthly periods, then part. And then she can marry the first former husband who has given her divorce twice. So this talaq hasan is a talaq which is described in the Quran, the Sahih Hadith. The other two, talaq e bidah is an innovation and talaq e hasan also. The best is talaq e hasan, which I have described, which is on the basis of Quran and Sunnah. Hope that answers the question.